Social Marketing Director. <sighs> I'm so excited. We're also nervous, so bear with us. <laughs> um, this is Grow With The Flow panel. I'm so excited, honestly. <laughs> We're on stage. Okay, so a little bit about me is I'm a newlywed to my husband, Dylan. He's behind the camera. Um, I'm the daughter of your king and queen CEOs, KNT. Um, and a fun fact about me is Dylan stalked me before we met. <laughs> I'm just kidding. For real, though, we have a brother named Jackson together. Well, it's not together, but I have a brother named Jackson, and he has a brother named Jackson. He moved to Florida the same year, same time, same place, same school, the same time. And we had no idea of each other until after school. And he has a dog named Ollie. I have a dog named Ollie, like Butler, Buter. What the hell is going on? <laughs> like we're literally meant for each other. Um, but enough about me, let's meet our panelists. Hey y'all, my name is Jennifer Marook. I am a diamond leader here. I've been here since March of 2022. I reside in Maryland with my four babies and my husband of 12 years. Um, I'm a veteran, and a little fun fact about me, I was an extra in the movie Lovely Bones, and Mark Wahlberg offered to fly me out to his house post-recording the video. What the heck? <laughs> Wait, you said no? I, Do you have any regrets? Um, we'll talk about that later. Um, <laughs> if any of you guys had that chance, would you say yes or no? <laughs> I've seen your husband. That is a nice looking husband, I do have to say. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Sydney Nieder. I am an emerald leader here, soon to be Sapphire. <laughs> I am from Holman, Wisconsin, which is a little town. I am a recovering yelling mom syndrome, and I am a boy mom times two, also newly engaged. <laughs> Yay! I saw the pictures. They were so stinking cute. Thank you. I was obsessed. I was like, should I call her? I was her? hyperventilating. No, I, call her. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> oh. Hey, everybody. I'm Taylor Runke. I am a Ruby leader. <laughs> I'm coming to you from Tiny Town, Iowa. <laughs> Our population's like 200. Um, fun fact about me I am a special needs mama, girl mama. And I am also a pastry chef, so I have worked for Disney, the Ritz Carlton, and I now own a home bakery. Oh my gosh. Wait, what's your favorite like pastry to like make? I love making like creme brulee and oh. decorating sugar cookies. <laughs> that is my jam. Next year, you're bringing me some, please. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm Cassie Massengill. I'm from Amarillo, Texas. I've been married to my amazing hubby Jay for six years, and we have three amazing kids. Um, I'm a platinum leader here, and I've been with Ariel since June of last year. Um, a fun fact about me is my family is involved in professional wrestling, and that's actually how I met Jay. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Wrestling? <laughs> Explain what that chaos is. It's, I don't know why I'm so nervous being up here, because I do this on Saturdays, and I have for my whole life, basically, in front of total strangers all the time. So I don't know. I'm nervous. For no that's reason. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, now that you met our panelists, let's jump into the questions. The first question actually goes to Cassie. How did the Rockstar Flow help you get started or help you launch your business? Um, well, I kind of fell into the flow. I was with another company and had been following Jen for quite a while. I had been trying to recruit her for my team at that company. After building a relationship with Jen, I realized she wasn't interested. Been there, done that. Uh, <laughs> but instead, now I was in trance with Ariel, and I clicked through Jen's uh, content and put myself into her audition on a Wednesday. 
Then I chatted with her for a bit and watched the live on Thursday. And that night I joined because I had so much fun. <laughs> I was like, what is this? I need it. Um, by Jen utilizing the flow, it helped me realize how simple and duplicatable this was. And I knew I could do it. I was able to jump in, start using the flow, and by with it, I hit rep the brand in my first two weeks. Awesome, congratulations. It's crazy that she put herself in the flow, signed up, and Jen had no idea. <laughs> no idea at all. That's awesome. Okay, and Taylor, how did the Rockstar Flow help you get started or help you launch your business? So I joined in February of 2023 with zero network marketing experience, no social media experience at all. I actually hit rep the brand, and then after that, I didn't do shit for my first six months. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I didn't. I went to the family reunion back in June, and if you were there, then you know Travis asked who wasn't using the flow. I'm back there like, oh, that would be me. <laughs> so I made the commitment to myself that I was going to make the change. I stayed consistent. I did what I needed to do. I showed up daily, and I double ranked that month. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Congratulations. See? The flow works. She is a perfect example of that. Um, the next question, Jen and Sydney, how did implementing the flow help you improve your business? Jen, you start first. Um, for me, it honestly helped me simplify things for my team. So I was joking with Kyle earlier, we're both very green, so we can tend to word vomit things. Um, so the flow helped me slow things down, have a better direction, duplicate, simplify, um, and I saw it through the numbers in my team as well. Our numbers grew exponentially once I started to utilize the flow and my team saw what I was doing. Awesome. Okay, and Sydney, same question. How did implementing the flow help you with your business? So it helped me and my team massively duplicate. Um, it gave me major confidence to mass enroll you guys. Who doesn't want to mass enroll rock stars? Like that's literally how we build our business. That's where the money is. Um, and so we want to be able to give something that we also can bring newbies in and we're not throwing them to the wolves. You know, they have a system in place to be able to duplicate as well. And actually my girl Bridget was up here earlier and um, Last year, Bridget came to convention and started using the flow after and shot to Ruby. Awesome. I love that you both said it simplified everything um, and it duplicated your business. Um, I'm going to read this word for word because I wrote it down and I know I will mess it up if I don't read it word for word. Um, because my parents say this, so I don't want to mess it up. It's a quote, okay? You don't do what works, you do what duplicates. Meaning you could be the best salesperson and you could know how to talk to everyone, but it's definitely not the normal, okay? It is important to have a simple, duplicatable system that anyone can use and have success with. End quote. <laughs> Question three, Sydney, how, has, how have you duplicated this system with your team and has it helped you on board? So um, if you enroll using the flow, then it makes it super easy to onboard because you're literally plugging them in whatever day that they come in at, then they can start working the flow too. When they sign up, um, immediately they can just start working the flow and then that's an easy process to get through and then you add those daily tasks on top like adding friends, creating your content, making posts, and literally success right there. Super easy. <laughs> the flow, daily tasks. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, and awesome, I love it. Um, now Jen, same question, how have you duplicated the system with your team and has it helped you on board? Um, it has tremendously helped us with onboarding. I would say one of the biggest things that's helped us using the flow for onboarding would be the fact that people can come in any day of the week and they know what they need to do. They're like, okay, I joined Tuesday, this is what I do. Also, thanks to the flow and how we have everything set up, no matter what day they come in, um, that same week, they're able to get rock stars and VIP. Like imagine being brand new and you're like, I just got four new VIP, I got a rock star because that's how our flow works. So the power of that with your team and onboarding them and having that confidence is just amazing. It's like a boost, honestly. Yeah. Um, and Taylor, how have you duplicated this system with your team and has it helped you onboard? 
So for me, it's not boot camp. We're not selling you a course. We're not throwing you in and hoping you survive. There's daily tasks. You know what needs to be posted, and you know what you should be doing daily. Um, you just have to share it with your team. If you want to see the duplicatable success, share it throughout your downline. They're going to see you win, and they're going to want a piece of that. And that's super important. Um, if for some reason you have newbies who are struggling with the daily tasks, I have been reverting back to the daily videos in the app that are more in-depth. Thank goodness you guys recorded those for us because our newbies absolutely love those. Awesome. All right. No boot camps here. That I feel like I re need to re-say that. No boot camps here. All right. Um, now, next question. The next question is for Sydney and Cassie. Because the flow has a daily theme, do you feel like it gives us more to do or requires more time? Sydney, you go first. Well, my team knows what I'm going to say. They either love or they hate this. Pockets of time. <laughs> um, so you guys, people think it's easier to work this full time. And sometimes it's easier to utilize your nine to five job. If you guys are working a job right now, don't have the mindset of, oh, this would be easier if I could do this full time. Is that the goal for a lot of people? Absolutely. But those 15 minute breaks at work can be so intentional. You guys, people that work from home full time, we get distracted. Like, especially like as, as stay at home moms, like there's always other things we could be doing. Like the dishwasher breaks, let's go try and fix that, right? Like all these things. So if you're working a full time job, utilize that. Lunch breaks, potty breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Smoke breaks, you know, 10 to 15 minute intentional breaks can really like make or break your business. I totally agree with that. Um, if you get a message from me and it's a, a weekday during the nine to six, um, I'm probably in the bathroom. I'm utilizing those pockets of time. I'm I got tummy issues, guys. What can I say? I work in those times. Make them count, okay? Um, and Cassie, same question. Because the flow has a daily theme, do you feel like it gives you more time? It... <laughs> I don't feel you know like what I mean. Actually, I don't feel like it requires anything extra of us. Um, it, instead, it adds value. The daily theme takes away the stress and the overthinking, like, what am I going to do today? I have no idea. Ugh, now I'm going to lay in bed because I don't know what to do. The flow is your weekly game plan. Monday, you know you're going to plan your tasks around enrolling people in the audition. Tuesday, you're going to focus on launching your newbies and so forth. The daily flow is going to save you time and sanity. Awesome. Don't overthink. Get out of your head. All right. Next question is for Jen. What would you say to someone currently not using the flow? Um, I would say, do you not like success? Do you not like money? Like red person now is like, give me the money. Okay, so um, seriously, guys, this flow makes everything so easy. We should all be plugged into it. Not to mention, not everybody can make a system. There's some amazing leaders out there that they can join us and they can create their own, but the average person cannot do that. So it's so important as a leader, especially, to utilize it every day. Because when your team sees you doing it and leading by example, they're going to do the same. Yes, they copy you. So set the example, just like Jen said. All right, Taylor, what is the best, your best advice for someone currently not using the flow or not to its fullest? You guys are stunting your growth. Did y'all not hear me? I double ranked. If I would have yeah, realized. Yeah, <laughs> guys. If you guys, if I would have realized how simple and duplicatable this was, I would have implemented it day one. So make today that day for you. Make the commitment to yourself and start today. Awesome. Don't wait another day. Jump right in. It's super easy. Sydney, give us your advice. Okay, so I mean, it's a literal proven system that works. So you guys have heard it multiple times already. You're probably going to hear it again. K&T made $7 million in three years with a less enhanced version of the flow that we use right now, you guys. So it literally speaks for itself. And then I want to ask you guys, like, why are you here? You invested in yourself to start the company. You invested in yourself to get here. So why not go all the way and just implement it every day? It's written out. It's there for you. Just do it. <laughs> awesome. All right. We're running out of time now. Um, but thank you, ladies, for obviously doing the panel with me. Let's do a 
our favorite day of the flow. Okay, I'll go first. My favorite is Tuesday because I get to go live with you guys and do our little 1117. I have so much fun going live, seeing your guys. Well, I don't see your beautiful faces, but I do see your profile pictures, and they're beautiful. <laughs> um, but I love just doing what I do um, and showing up. So for me, my favorite day is personally Saturday because I feel like this is when you get to shine. You get to show off your life, what you're doing, your family. Um, this really creates relatability between you and your audience. Like this is the chance for them to get to know you for who you are outside of Ariel. So do not skip Saturday. I build so many relationships on that day. So my favorite day is Sunday, and I know that a lot of y'all in here skip Sundays. And it's so easy because you can literally pick any platform. So if you like Facebook, go live on Facebook. If you like Instagram, go live on Instagram. If you like TikTok, go live on TikTok. So pick your platform, stop skipping it. Um, and when you pick that platform, what's gonna happen is you're gonna reach a bigger audience. So if you're already working the flow, but you're skipping Sundays, that could be why you're not getting as many people because you're not reaching that audience that may not know what you do. They may not know about the audition yet. They may not watch your stories. So you're hitting a different section of people. Um, and so how I do it is I kind of duplicate and do my own like KNT Live. Megan actually helped me with this. So you go live, you pick a product to talk about. You talk about your favorite part of the compensation plan. You talk about um, why you're here and why they should be here. And that's it. And it can literally take 10, 15 minutes. That's it. You guys see Dawn go live every single day and you see what it does for her business. You guys can go live once a week. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> My favorite day is Thursday, corporate live day. I love to party and I hate hosting parties. So it's basically like a giant party I can invite all of my friends to and I can enjoy it and not have to host it. <laughs> the energy is always good and watching the Thursday Live is what made me join. So why would I not tell all of my friends to also watch the Thursday Night Live? The best part though is having dedicated CEOs that go live to sell your customers for you every single week. That's completely unheard of. Yeah. Let them do the work. <laughs> My favorite is follow-up Friday. There is so much power in your messenger. Make sure you're sending those screenshots to your auditioners because when they see what has been done underneath them in just one week, they're like, wow, there is momentum here. And they also know that they have your support too. And don't forget to follow up with your customers. We don't hump and dump here. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's our panel, guys. Thank you so much. Um, let's take a picture. DJ, we need some music.